Hi everybody, in today's video we're going to be going to a little local uh, vid grenier uh, outdoor yard sale if you like. I've uh, not been to this one for a few years because of Covid. So just before we set off, just going to have a look inside the greenhouse. Check for slugs this time of morning when it's damp and early. Wow, <laughs> as you can see they have gone to the ceiling. That's the tomato plants. Let's have a quick scout about that. Down below, celery, beetroots, we're already eating the leaves on the beetroots. Now Jasmine did ask me in the last video whether you could eat these and someone replied, yes you can, they're the leaves of the tomatoes. So I'll have to look into that, you never know what you can eat. There's a bee in here. Yeah, something's nibbling away at the peppers. Well that's nearly ready to harvest. The cucumbers, one on that one, two big ones on there, and the child's ready as well. So we're already eating the basil and the child from here. Uh, what else? All oh, the celery and the beetroot leaves. So it's already producing food for us to eat. Right, I think the car's started. I don't want Santa to go without me. We're going to go and pick her mum up. Um, she's about 15 minutes away from us, so we'll be getting on our way. See you there. Morning. Morning. Will you be requiring the show for this morning, dear? Yes. Come on, James. Off we go. <laughs> So we're here, 15 minute drive out, so a nice local one. Never been to this one before, so I'm as excited as you are. Let's go and find some bargains. Today, but you never know. You only need a good few stalls. Bonjour, chef. Hello. Ça va? Ça va? Oui. Vous? Bonjour. Soleil? Oui. C'est bon. <laughs> yeah, she's rung the bell. <laughs> no matter how small the little fairs are, you always get a good atmosphere, which is always nice. That's a nice big glass. Well, there was indeed slim pickings there for me. So we're all done at this one. I think there's a, a few more on in the area, so we're gonna probably we'll have to speak with the boss first, see whether we're heading off to another one. Did you find anything? Lovely. Three of them. Three of them? Lovely, yeah. Tollware. Tollware, yeah. Very decorative. A little planter. Lovely, it look nice, filled up with some pretty flowers. Yes. Place Max, look at this. How did I miss all this? I must have been filming. <laughs> right. Is our bags ready to go to the hang, is it? No, no copper there for me. Right, on to the next one. So, we're at the next. Vid Grenier. Let's go and see if there's anything better here for me. And of course, secret filming. Not everyone wants to be famous. Two dolly birds don't mind. <laughs> 
slim pickings again. Never mind, it's a nice day. I'm out with the wife and her mum, so it can't be too bad. What a lovely little spot for a vid granny. Eh? It's on the side of the river that runs through our local area. Got a nice little cafe behind me. They're doing their cycle uh, route from here today, going all through the countryside. Um, so yeah, lots of cyclists about. Not many bargains about though, so anyway, you can't always get what you want every every time you come to a vid granny, eh? Um, yeah, Sam spotted something. Let's go and see what she's got. Did you pick that basket up? It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, 10 euros. Yeah, Mum said that's a bit of shawl. Yeah, I'd look it. So once again, I'm empty-handed. Sam and Mum have got bag loads. Now well, they managed to find it. All done. All, all shopped out. All shopped out. <laughs> well, I've got nil pois. Oh. Never mind. Never mind. We'll make you some nice breakfast to make up for it. That sounds like a deal to me. So we've just arrived back at Sam's mum's house, Lynn. Um, they've promised me some breakfast. <laughs> so while I'm waiting for me breakfast and they're cooking it, let's have a little stroll around their beautiful garden. So many lovely Beautiful native plants that have self-seeded. Lots of wild and purchased plants as well. All complement one another. Oh, look who it is. Hello. Hello, tea or coffee? I'll have a coffee, please. Just going to have a browse around the garden whilst I'm waiting for me breakfast. Okay, I'll give you a shout when it's ready. Lovely. This is a much more ordered garden than mine. <laughs> a lovely little walkway up to the gate at the back. Foxgloves and daisies. Loads of lovely sweet little ornaments. Statues. And of course, lots of insects and wildlife. A real haven here. And not to mention a beautiful Normandy house. Now this garden was beautifully created by, or by hand, by Sam's mum and dad over many years, and I think you'll agree, it's an absolute gem. It was literally a blank canvas. Lots of little pathways, steps very magical feel. Breakfast is ready, that's the breakfast bell. So after a leisurely stroll around several vid greniers, it's time for breakfast. Always a nice part of the day. Miss Misty? Hello Misty. Looking very curious. Oh, look at this. So, someone's been a good boy. Lovely. So, are you going to show us what you bought today? Yes. 1970s, what do you think that is? Hmm, maybe even 60s or 50s. Yeah, could be 50s. With the um, cartridges as well. We'll have to do some research and find out. Yes. Made in West Germany. West Germany. Mm. Mm. Is that before the war came down? Certainly is. Yep. Oh wow. It's 
Oh, yeah, it is. Lovely old mirror with yeah. a silver date in it. A silver back, the silver started to uh, deteriorate. That's the look slightly. that you're after. But yeah, it's very uh, in vogue at the moment. It, yes. It's mercury the back in there. Yeah. Little coasters. Yeah. In the form of a 25 centime. Lovely. And they fit on a little stand like that. Brilliant. And I've got a nice holy water font. Yeah. And Jesus and the font are in copper, Sean. Copper? Oh, why did I miss that one? And is this a Champ Levee or? It's. Yeah, Champ Levee. That's Champ Levee. This is Cloisonne, isn't it? Cloisonne, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's both. This is Cloisonne inside. Champ Levee on the outside. It's very pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Would you like to explain to the viewers the difference? Okay, so this enamel and it's made by getting coloured glass and powdering it up. Making enamel. And, and then putting it onto a, a metal base and firing it. Um, Cloisonne is this kind where little wires are used to um, separate the different fields. So where the leaves are, there's wire, and that separates it from the background, so different colours can be put, put inside the wires. Champleve is where it's moulded. It's it? moulded or, or cut out to have separate fields. So as you see, the background is, is lower than the place where it's enamelled. And the two, two different techniques. Very pretty. This, this is Chinese. Okay. Be signing you up for the Antiques Road Trip next time. And then I've got this lovely little pin dish. Art Nouveau. It's Art Nouveau and it's signed. And I shall be doing some research on that. Okay. Is it pewter? Yes, I think it is, yeah. Uh, it's made in Paris, it says on the back, and it's got a, a maker's mark. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm very pleased with uh, finds from this one. Nice yes. table mats as well. Good, yes. Oh, yes. Coasters. This one's got coasters with it as well. Matching coasters, yeah. Very seasonal. And these ones are Paris, Belgiard, in here. Mm. Of course, we see the lights earlier. Nice mm -hmm. tollware. And these, um, there's two of them. Mm -hmm. And you put a shotgun on them, on mm -hmm. the wall. Yeah, rifle they, holder. Yeah, they pull out like that. I suppose they could be used for other things as well. Yeah, yeah. You could put a little wooden shelf for it, like a little tiny slat yeah. shelf. All sorts of things, you could use it as a curtain tie back. Yeah. I've got another one here. Mm -hmm. Makes a lovely hook. Mm. Very nice. Decorative. So that's it for the show and tell. We're just going to pop out into the garden. We're going to pick some rhubarb and then we're going to head back to uh, mine and Sam's house. And Sam is going to cook a traditional Sunday roast. So we're off to pick some fresh rhubarb. Sam's going to make some rhubarb with a lovely homemade rice pudding. So let's go and get the rhubarb. Oh, she's off without me. She's full of beans today. So we just take it close to the base. Yeah. Tear it. Now we have recently bought some rhubarb, haven't we? Some crowns, but that won't be for a year or two. Yeah, you have to leave it for the first year apparently. Yeah, don't harvest it the first year you plant it. Or you weaken it. Gonna leave a few on. Yeah, you mustn't take too many. No. Um, I'll just take the biggest ones and leave the rest. That should do us. Yeah, we better eat them before something else does. Yeah. They did get yeah. crushed right off by rabbits. Yeah. So we put the mesh back over, stop the rabbits. It just deters them. Yeah, There's just something makes... there. I mean, it's not completely covered, but... Yeah, they get the, uh, the feeling that they're... They shouldn't be eating them. <laughs> They're being watched. Right, let's go and make an English roast with pork 
rice pudding and rhubarb to finish. Lovely. See you there. So we're just waiting for the Yorkshires to rise. As soon as they're done, Sam will plate up. We'll have our delicious roast pork with Yorkshire, roast potatoes, roast, roast carrots, carrots, cow, asparagus, and cow from the garden. Lovely, sounds delicious. Can't wait. They are. They're done, aren't they? Oh yes. Dang. Look at them. I think they need a bit more. Shall I turn them around? Yeah. And back ones need a bit more, don't they? They are superb, I told you. Yeah, no foul. Jamie's no foul recipe. Mm. Cheers, Jay. Jamie <laughs> Oliver. Right, I've got to take this in off now and put it back in and let the meat rest before I carve it. Mm. 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 a little bit more on my plate I think. I'll have to use a dustbin lid next time. <laughs> you want another bit of crackling? No I'm not greedy. Thank you. I'm not a greedy person. But you like that bit though wouldn't you? Oh yeah I'll have that then. Wow look at that. <laughs> Straight from the garden. Yeah. Don't forget leave some room for the rhubarb and rice pudding oh, afterwards. Yes. So that's homemade rice pudding with stewed rhubarb and elderflower. This is French rhubarb which is green. So that is it for this video. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget if you'd like to support the channel um, there's various ways of doing it. You can just watch the video or you could go on over to one of the clickable links and do a buy me a coffee. There's also the Patreon and follow you on Instagram. Yeah, and you can also follow us on Instagram. See you in the next video. Bye for now.